So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how Smokey Glow was wrong about Taylor Nicole Dean. And it's Morality Monday, so we're gonna be talking about how moral and ethical debates can kind of make you look like a hypocrite. But before we jump into the video, I got messages for two people out there. So great news, Taylor Nicole Dean, I just realized today that she unblocked me on Twitter. So Taylor, if you watch this, just know that this video is made out of love, it's for education, and my DMs are always open, so feel free to shoot me a message. The second message is for everybody else out there. I am not in the business of people liking me, I am in the business of saving lives. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, addiction recovery, and what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what we can learn from people's successes as well as their mistakes. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yes, this is not an attack on Taylor Nicole Dean, Smokey Glow, I don't even hate her, but there will be some critiques of her in this video. But anyways, like I said, my channel is to learn from the mistakes and the successes of people. So I do wanna say that I am very, very proud of Taylor Nicole Dean. I've actually made a few videos about some of her sobriety successes. I will link one of the recent videos down in the comments below and in the description if you wanna go check it out, all right? But anyways, let's jump into the story for those of you who haven't been following my channel or you aren't fully caught up to date, all right? So yeah, Taylor Nicole Dean, she got out of her uh, second rehab stay this year. And when she was in treatment, she ended up meeting a guy. Now, when Taylor broke up with uh, Johnny Sins, like it was awesome. Like I, I made a video about that as well. There's a lot, there are a lot of people who relapse because they don't get out of the toxic relationships, especially when you have two people who are using. So I was super proud of her, but she jumped in and started hooking up with a guy in treatment. So I made a video uh, titled, um, I forgot what it was titled, but I was talking about rehab relationships or rehab romances, right? Those of you who don't know me, I am uh, clean and sober for over seven years. Like Taylor Nicole Dean, my drug of choice was opioids, started with alcohol, but I also worked in addiction treatment center for a little over three years, and I'm currently in school right now getting my certified alcohol and drug counselor license. All right, so I, like I said, I use examples from the YouTube community to try to educate and teach people, everybody who's watching this stuff go on. Well, anyways, um, when I made that video, there was a lot of backlash, all right? I got a lot of nasty comments. I might put some up on the screen right here. Um, but anyways, uh, Taylor and I, uh, we kind of had a back and forth uh, over on Twitter. And speaking of mistakes, learn from mine. I said some really dumb stuff and I actually reached out to Taylor about that. Um, but anyways, after that, not only was I getting a bunch of comments, but people started making videos, all right? So Smokey Glow is somebody who made a video about me and she got tens of thousands of views. I think last time I checked, I had over 60,000 views, all right? Smokey Glow, she is also uh, someone in long-term recovery and she's going to school to help people. I believe she said social work, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. So anyways, like I said, in my video, I discussed why it's a bad idea to hook up with people in rehab or why it's even worse of an idea to get into relationships with them. So after I got a ton of nasty comments, Smokey Glow made her video, Taylor Cole Dean posted this on Instagram, um, which has since been deleted. I actually got the screenshot from a channel called, I think it's called Whatever. I'll link her video down below. All right, but anyways, Taylor said, he was a cool dude until he got angry and threatened to kill himself on two separate occasions just because I said I needed time and space to improve myself and also manipulated me in several different ways just because I needed to work on myself. I spent 24 hours away from my phone and he threatened to post my nudes due to it and threatened me on Twitter too, so goodbye. You were super kind and loving in rehab and hope you get back to that state, but you're clearly unhealthy and manipulative me when I'm trying to recover from abuse. Ain't cool, so I got a blast. All right, so let's make it perfectly clear. Like, this, this is terrible, and it's awful what happened to Taylor Nicole Dean. Like, nobody should be threatened like that, all right? Especially right after getting out of an abusive relationship. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Like, I, I hate being right. 
Like I hate in instances like this being right about something when it leads to the suffering of somebody else. Like I don't get my rocks off to this. Like I was constantly teaching people in treatment like about not getting in relationships, not hooking up in treatment for these reasons. Like I would rather, I would much rather people just listen and learn from my mistakes, other people's mistakes than trying it on their own. Like just to kind of put it in perspective of how I don't get joy from being right about these things. Like I have a 10 year old son, right? And I remember when he was younger and we would go to the pool in the summer and he'd be running around the pool. I'd be like, Dylan, stop running around the pool. You're gonna slip and fall. Stop running around the pool. You're gonna slip in the fall. And then he would slip, fall, bust his butt and start crying. Like I didn't run up to him and say, told you so. No, like I would rather not be right. I would rather him not slip and fall and bust his butt on the, the ground while running around the pool. You know what I mean? Like another example of this is Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash. As many of you know, Trisha Paytas got very mad at me when I was making videos about how this is what an unhealthy relationship looks like. Like, I didn't wanna be right about that, all right? I wish that they would've gone to, you know, couples therapy and things would've worked out because all of you have seen the fallout between Trisha and Jason. I'm not like, yay, that's awesome. I would much rather that that didn't happen or that that relationship didn't happen in the first place. You know what I mean? But when it comes to Taylor and Nicole Dean, I'll say this, okay? Because when I say learn from successes and mistakes, I mean my own too. I made just about every mistake you can in the book when it comes to the first year, two years. Hell, I'm seven years sober and still make mistakes. But the one thing Taylor Nicole did right was not pick up, all right? That's what I tell people. Like when I'm teaching people in treatment or other newcomers, I'm like, listen, don't take my advice. I do not care. But here's the thing, just don't pick up no matter what. But like the thing is too, and I think a great video that a lot of you guys should watch is Tana Nicole Dean sharing her experience being in treatment. Like, and she talks about, you know, what the counselors were telling them to do and not to do and the rules and everything like that. Like, I wanna make it very clear. Like something I would teach my clients all the time was like, I don't get a bonus for every person who doesn't get in a relationship. I don't get a bonus for every person who doesn't hook up and rehab. Like. The only reason I say this is because I care and wanna see people succeed. And I've seen far too many people fail because they're hooking up in treatment, right? Like whenever we're getting help, like from a therapist or in treatment, like we have to ask ourselves, like what's their motive? Like, why are they saying this? Like I had to learn that when I first got sober and I had a sponsor and people giving me suggestions, like they weren't just saying it for fun. There was a reason why they were saying it. But one of the primary reasons we tell people this is because things often aren't going to work well when you meet people in early recovery. Like you have to remember, a rehab, an addiction treatment center, it is a mental health facility. When people like me first get sober, we are still very mentally unstable. And what you saw from Taylor Nicole Dean's post was that that man was very unstable still, right? Like we don't just get rid of the drugs and alcohol and all of a sudden we're fine. You know what I mean? This is typically why we say, don't date your first year of recovery. Now, like I said, Smokey Glow made a video about me and my original video is about Taylor Nicole Dean, right? But here's the issue. Okay, as many of you know, I've been diving really deep into mor uh, moral philosophy and moral psychology. I think it is a terrible idea to get into a debate about ethics and morality and things like that. Like those type of debates, like I don't like those. I like going off of facts, statistics, and things like that. Like even if somebody has an opinion, like where is that coming from? And something that you see is when people are debating from a stance of morality and ethics, like, it's so subjective that they're arguing from a place of emotion and they often can look very hypocritical. And here's what I mean by that. Since Taylor Nicole Dean got sober and got out of treatment, she has been doing her best to help her audience and anybody out there who might be struggling with addiction, trying to educate them, trying to share her experience. Like you guys, like it is so difficult to come out there and share your story of addiction publicly. And Taylor Nicole Dean has a massive audience, but Taylor Nicole Dean does only have four, I think she's coming up 
on five months sober, but Smoky Glow did not have a problem with that. So I just want you to compare the two. You have Taylor Nicole Dean with three, four months sober, making videos about addiction recovery, giving advice to her fans, and she has an audience of 1.79 million subscribers. Meanwhile, I'm over here and I have 80,000 subscribers. So, again, going back to debating from a place of morality and ethics and how it makes you look hypocritical, you won't find one video on Smokey Glow's channel saying that she disagrees with Taylor Nicole Dean giving people addiction recovery advice, right? Because from the place where she's coming from, she believes that people who aren't licensed should not be saying things like this or giving anybody advice, and she calls it quote unquote dangerous. But if that was truly her moral compass, she would be making videos about Taylor Nicole Dean as well. And why she hasn't, I don't know. But from my perspective, and I might be totally wrong about this, Smokey Glow, if you wanna reach out and correct me, but it seems like, because a lot of us do this, when we dislike somebody, we form our opinions based off that, and the problem is, is that it often lacks, lacks logic and rationale. But I've had a lot of requests lately to make videos about the advice Taylor Nicole Dean is making, so, Make sure you're subscribed because tomorrow I will be discussing that. But just so you know, I am so glad Taylor Nicole Dean is discussing this. Um, I just want to clarify a couple things that, that she said just from my own experience and education and everything like that. But I've had a ton of requests. Um, specifically, uh, <laughs> was her talking about 15% of people having the addiction gene and everything like that. So I'll clear that up tomorrow. Now, something else Smokey Glow was mad about was I made a video titled, Please Stop Enabling Taylor Nicole Dean. And what that was talking about was when Taylor Nicole Dean and I had a back and forth on Twitter, and like I said, I was wrong in that situation, but I said, you know, no treatment professional, no sponsor would say it's good to date in early recovery. And Taylor Nicole Dean said that they, they said it was okay. You guys, oh my God, like first off, it's somebody newly in recovery. Like, I don't know if you knew this or not, but drug addicts don't like being told what they should do, okay? Like, again, like I mentioned in the video yesterday, like, do you think, do you think any therapist, doctor, counselor, caseworker, anybody in their right mind would say, huh, yeah, yeah, Taylor Nicole Dean, I think it's a great idea for you to meet somebody in rehab and start hooking up with them. That's gonna work out phenomenally. And the fact is, she is lying to you. Okay, like I hate to say that, but to put out there that her, her, her doctors and everybody thinks that this is okay is a blatant lie because nobody who works in this field would ever say that in a million years, okay? Right, and like I said, a lot of us are still not in our right state of mind in early recovery, but she then came out with this clip. But this is when I started swapping my addiction for men because now I'm so emo emotionally vulnerable and I'm in this horrible place and I don't have the drug to help me. So I started seeking it out in men, doing a lot of things I wasn't supposed to be allowed to do with men on campus. And they were kind of picking up on it. Staff, they didn't have proof that anything was going on, but relationships aren't allowed in rehab. And so they put me on a behavioral contract. So yes, Taylor Nicole Dean at that time was lying to justify her actions and what she was doing. So I, I admire Smokey Glow for being in school right now and being in recovery and learning uh, uh, about helping other people. But like, like I said, I have seven years sober, three years working in a massive drug and alcohol treatment center, working with thousands of people. Like it's important that we know when we shouldn't be enabling people and call them out when they might be lying to us, especially when it's a life or death situation. So. In my opinion, I think one of my biggest problems is my delivery, all right? I come from this, this type of tough love place, but like I said, like even though I'm here to kind of like entertain and make these videos engaging and talk about some subjects that not many people are talking about, like I'm not in the business of people liking me, I'm in the business of saving lives. So I'll end this video 
with a quick story to kind of wrap up the moral of this video. When I first got sober, and this is one of the reasons I apologize to Taylor Nicole Dean, because I came off like these guys who I hated. When I first got sober, there were so many men and women in 12-step meetings who had years of sobriety, and they came off like dicks, all right? They would just say stuff, and I would just get so hurt and so offended because they shouldn't talk to me like that. They should talk to me like this, da-da-da-da-da, right? But as I continued to stay sober and I kept seeing these same people and they had years of recovery, I started to sit there and say, okay, I don't like the way that they're delivering their message, but they're right. Like these guys have pointed out every single time someone is going to relapse. They've said things where it seems like they know me better than I know myself, even though they've never talked to me. So what I'm getting at is, like, we can't, if we wanna learn, if we wanna grow, we need to realize that some people are gonna come across with a message and we don't like how they said it. But what we have to ask ourselves is, are they right? Are they correct? You know what I mean? Like, there are many people who saved my life and when they were saving my life, I absolutely hated them, right? When I was working in treatment, I had so many people, so many people who hated my guts in treatment and a month later, once they left, they'd call me back and say, Chris, like now I understand why you were tough on us. You know what I mean? So I just want you guys to kind of think about that and try not to, you know, lose the message because of who's delivering that message or how they're delivering it. Try to get to the root of it, right? You could take that advice or leave it, but I'm letting you know right now, it helped save my life. But I wanna end this video with a question for all of you too. For those of you especially who dislike me, like now that you know that I've been right about different situations, has that changed your opinion? Right? I'm just really curious about it. I'm always trying to work on my presentation and make it a little bit more well-rounded. Well like I've been used to working in addiction treatment for so long that I'm trying to get used to YouTube, but I do want to kind of know the balance that all of you guys see with you know, being right and having that kind of experience and just the way the message is delivered. Because I know for me personally, I didn't, I, I didn't really benefit from people kind of like coddling me and giving me this really soft message. You know what I mean? So just let me know down in the comments below. All right, but anyways, like I said, there will be a new video coming out tomorrow. I will discuss the, uh, the aspect of Taylor Nicole Dean giving advice because there are some hate videos going on about her and I just wanna clear that up because I don't think what she's doing is wrong and I wanna discuss it tomorrow. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my books. And by the way, I have a 50% sale going on uh, for Halloween. So check my Instagram, check my Twitter. I put all the info up there. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.